everyone and welcome back to Toys Fantastic. Disney just announced that they're making a Toy Story 5 and I am so excited. So today we're going to be unboxing the Mr. Potato Head Andy's Playroom Potato Pack from Toy Story 4. It comes with 61 pieces. Wow, that is a lot. I am so excited to see what's inside. Let's take a look. Wow, look at all these pieces inside. Let's start taking them out one by one and see what we have. Okay, I'm gonna start out with this one that I see on the top, which has some wings in it and a pair of eyes. I think these look like Buzz Lightyear's wings and Mr. Potato Head's eyes. Okay, so we have a set of wings that we'll put over here and we have a set of eyes that we'll put right there. What do we have next? A pair of boots, pants, and a belt buckle. Who do we think those belong to? I'm going to put them over by the wings. Next we have a mouth and some arms. I'm gonna put these over by the wings. And I'm gonna put this mouth over here with the eyes. Next we have a white hat with some little flowers on top and a black bowler hat. Let's put them over here in the back. Next I'm gonna take out these two big bodies that I see. Wow, this must be Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Let's see what's inside of them. Inside this one we have a pair of blue legs, a pink ear with an earring, a staff, a red pocketbook, another ear with an earring, a pair of red lips, one arm, another arm, a pink nose. Hmm, what do we think that is? I have no idea. We'll put it over here. Another pink nose and some purple glasses. Wow, that was a lot inside of there. Now let's find out what is inside the other body. We have another nose. This one's kind of an orangey brown color a red nose, a cowboy hat. Who do we think that belongs to? I bet this belongs to Woody. A red body with some red bendy arms. I bet this is for Forky. A big mustache, one ear, another ear, a tongue, an arm, some more red lips. These are a bit smaller than the first ones we got. Some black round glasses and another arm. Wow, that is a lot of items so far. Let's see what else we have in these little bags. A pair of green and white boots. I think that those belong to Buzz. And another mouth. This one is exactly the same as the first one we got. Some red shoes. These look like they are high heels. I bet they belong to Mrs. Potato Head. We have some red and white boots and pants with a little maple leaf belt buckle for Canada. Who do we think that could be? Are these for Duke Kaboom? And these very lovely eyes with big eyelashes. Next we have some blue sneakers. These look like they're Mr. Potato Heads. Now we have a red and white body with arms and another pair of eyes. We have this blue body that has some little frilly designs on it. I think this might be for Bo Peep. We also have these little feet. Those look like popsicle sticks to me. I think this might be Forkies. Now we have a white flower that looks like a daisy and a little potato head taut body. Here's a green and blue body. I think that this might be Bunny. What do you think? 
And we have these blue and pink bottoms with black boots that I think might go with Bo Peep. Now we have a top with hands and it has a little sheriff's badge on it. This must be for Woody. And another pair of eyes. I think we already have these. In this one, we have a yellow body with some orange feet. That must be Ducky. Look, we have Buzz Lightyear with his purple hood on. And this one must be Ducky because it has a little yellow hat on that looks like the head of a little baby chick. And this is most certainly Duke Kaboom. He has his helmet on, his little visor in the front, and a big mustache. And we have Bo Peep. Look at her blonde hair with her pink bow. Now we have Forky. Look at how cute Forky is. And the last piece that was in the pack is Bunny. You can tell it's Bunny because he has a blue hat on with blue bunny ears. Wow, that was a lot of things inside that box. I am so excited to start putting it all together. But before I start piecing all of these together, put in the comments below who you're most excited to see in Toy Story 5. I think I'm most excited to see Forky again. Okay, let's start putting these together. Where should I start? Hmm. I think I'm going to start with this cute little ducky body. Okay, now we need to find his head. Here it is! There's Ducky! He is so adorable! Since we have Ducky together, let's put his best friend Bunny together. There is his bottoms. Now we need to find his top. Hmm, could his top be this? No, that doesn't seem right. What about this? No, that doesn't seem right either. Huh, what does the top half of Bunny's body look like? Oh, I know, it's green and blue. It must be this one. There we go, that's perfect. Now let's find his head. He'll be easy to find because he's got big blue bunny ears. Here he is. Wow, there's Bunny all put together. Let's put him with his best friend, Ducky. Okay, who should we put together next? Hmm, I think we should put together one of the big potato heads. I know, let's put together Mr. Potato Head. Here's his body. Now we have to find his feet. Here they are, his blue sneakers. Let's put them together. Okay, now we have a nice standing Mr. Potato Head. What comes next? Well, he has a nose and a mustache. Let's find a nose for him. This looks like the nose that he wears in the movies. And this looks like his mustache. Let's put it on him. Okay, now we need some Mr. Potato Head eyes. Here they are. Let's put them on his face. Yay, now he's starting to look like the Mr. Potato Head we know. What else does he need? Hmm, let's think. He still needs a mouth, arms, and a hat. Let's start by finding him a mouth. What mouth should we put on him? We have a tongue, a smile, another smile, these big red lips, and these little red lips. What do you think? Do you think these little red lips go with Mr. Potato Head? I think so too. Let's put them on him. Okay, there we go. There are his lips. Now what next? Hmm, his head looks cold to me. What do you think? I think we need to find him a hat. Which hat does Mr. Potato Head wear? Is it this white hat with flowers on it? Or is it this black hat? This one? You're right, it's this black bowler hat. Let's put it on him. Okay, now he just needs some arms. Let's find him a pair of arms. Here we go. Now let's put them on him. Is there something missing? I feel like I'm missing something really important on Mr. Potato Head. Hmm, think. <gasps> I know, it's 
Ears! Mr. Potato Head needs ears. Let's find him a pair of ears. Here they are. Now let's put them on him so he can hear us. There's one ear and the other ear. Okay, Mr. Potato Head is complete. And since Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head are deeply in love and should never be separated, why don't we put Mrs. Potato Head together? Here's her body. Now we just need to find her her shoes. Here they are. Let's put them together. Oh wow, she looks wonderful. What else do we need for Mrs. Potato Head? I think she needs eyes. Why don't we give her these big, beautiful eyes with long eyelashes? There we go. Now she's starting to look more like Mrs. Potato Head. What else does she need? I think she needs a nose, a mouth, a hat, her ears, and her arms. Let's find them all. Let's put on her nose first. I think I like this nose best for Mrs. Potato Head. There we go. Now let's find her lips. I think these ones are perfect for her. Let's put them on. Wow, she looks amazing. Now let's find her ears. Here they are with their little earrings. Let's put them on her. Okay, now she needs her arms. There are her arms. But hmm, I think Mrs. Potato Head looks like she should be holding something on her arm. What could it be? I know, this red bag. Let's put it on her arm. Wow, she looks fantastic. Now we just need to put on her hat. Hmm, does it look like she's missing something on her hat? What do we think it is? I know, it's her flower. There we go, now she's complete. Now she can go back and stand with Mr. Potato Head. Now that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head are done, who should we do next? I think we should find Woody since he's in charge of all the other toys. Let's see if we can find his bottoms. Are these his bottoms? No, those don't look right. What about those? Are those Woody's legs? No, those aren't his legs. These must be Woody's legs. How do we know that those are Woody's legs? Because they have cowboy boots and a belt buckle like Woody wears. Now let's find his top. Let's think, what does Woody wear? He has a yellow shirt, a white vest, and a star that is his sheriff's badge. Here it is. Wow, Woody is almost complete. Now we just need to find his head. No, that's not his head. Forky, what are you doing? There's his head. Now he just needs his cowboy hat. Ta-da! Woody is complete. We'll put him over here while we finish the rest. Who should be next? I think we should do Woody's best friend, Buzz Lightyear. Now we need to find Buzz's top half. His top half matches his bottom half. It's white and green. Is this white and green? It is! It must be Buzz's top half. Now we need to put on Buzz's head. And we know which one is Buzz because it has a purple hood. There he is! Now there's one more really important thing that Buzz needs. It's his wings! There we go! Now he can fall with style. We'll put him over there next to Woody. Who should we do next? I think since we have Woody and Buzz, let's do Bo Peep. Bo Peep has blue pants. Let's see if we can find blue pants. Here they are. Now she needs her matching blue top. There we go. And she needs her head. Ta-da! And there's one more thing she needs. Hmm, it looks like her hand is supposed to be holding something. What goes in her hand? Oh, I know, it's her staff so she can herd her sheep. Yay, Bo Peep is completed. Let's put her over next to Woody. Next, let's do Duke Kaboom. Duke has white and red pants, a white and red top, and on his head, he has a helmet. There's Duke Kaboom. We'll put him over next to Bunny and Ducky since they're all from the fourth Toy Story movie. 
Now, last but not least, is Forky. We need to put together Forky. Let's think. When Bonnie made Forky, how did she make him? She used some popsicle sticks and a piece of clay. There they are. And for his arms, she used some bendy pipe cleaners. Here they are. And then we need his fork head. Ta-da! It's Forky! We'll put him in the back with Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Let's look at all the pieces we have left. We have two additional mouths for Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, two extra sets of eyes for Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, a red nose and a pink nose, a tongue, Mr. Potato Head's black round glasses, and Mrs. Potato Head's purple cat eye glasses. We have one extra thing that I'm not sure what it is. What could that possibly be? Let's take a closer look at it. It's red and it's kind of a wavy texture, like it's fabric. Hmm, who do we have that has red on them that would have wavy fabric. Oh, could this be Duke Kaboom's cape? Let's put it on and see. Dun, 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 dun. It's Duke Kaboom's cape so that he can perform all of his tricks. Wow, we got so many characters out of Andy's Playroom Potato Pack. We have Duke Kaboom, Ducky, Bunny, Forky, Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Bo Peep, a big Mr. Potato Head, and a big Mrs. Potato Head, along with all these additional accessories for them. This has been so much fun. I hope you had fun too. And let me know in the comments below who you think your favorite character of these Potato Heads is. I personally think my favorite is Bunny. He just looks so cute with those bunny ears. Well, that's it for Toys Fantastic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, friends.